So in this video, I'm just doing a sketch of a uh, group picture of three of my OCs, uh, Dion, Vampire, Abriel, Ghost, and uh, Young, this kind of Frankenstein monster dude. This picture I kind of started a while ago, and I was supposed to, <laughs> supposed to finish it a while ago but I just did not touch it for the longest time. So Young, as you can see, is like already pretty sketched out. He's missing his uh, part of his face, but uh, yeah, and he's already colored in, but I'm gonna change that later on in the video because that is the old stuff. So yeah, I just started off uh, sketching Abriel. I like drawing her the most out of the three because she's a girl and I find girls way easier to draw except as you can see I'm having trouble drawing her eyes which I have that struggle with all of them <laughs> in this specific drawing sometimes eyes are really easy for me and sometimes they just look really weird and off on the face I don't know what it is but I think um the original sketch that I have underneath for Abriel, her, her little position. Uh, I think it's pretty nice actually, considering. So it was nice to have a base like that to start drawing on. It made it easier. I like how her pose kind of looks. It's a lot more active than the other two. Uh, here I'm trying to draw Dion. Uh, now with him, I think I made a huge mistake. Um, <laughs> The original sketch for him isn't really well flushed out and on top of that even when I was originally drawing it I knew that but I was just having so much trouble I was like I wanted them to all be in kind of different poses and kind of facing different ways and I had no idea which way to draw him in and on top of that he's like supposed to be a bit more like muscular and bulky in comparison to the other two which is a body type that I find really hard to draw especially like muscular but not too muscular because sometimes when I draw muscular body types they look way more muscular than I mean them to be so yeah I have a hard time drawing him because of that and um yeah I tried to draw without redoing that little bottom pose sketch because I was lazy which didn't really help because then I ended up having to spend like half an hour looking for references so I had to cut out that little section where I just wasn't doing anything so I ended up starting to kind of get his upper body down but I still found his arms looked kind of weird I think I like kind of adjusted it I feel like he's going to need the most fixing out of all of them for, the, for their final project pro products. ABL probably the least, because I think hers is like the most well flushed out uh, by the end of this video. I decided to do separate videos for rendering each of them, so I'm going to probably start with Dion just to get him out of the way. I made it, <laughs> I made it really difficult to fix him. Uh, his, his legs are kind of shorter than I think they should be. Uh, I want his legs to be a bit longer, so I'm going to have to fix them up a bit.
Now I'm moving on to Young, starting to go in with a with a new sketch for him. Um, maybe draw in some eyes later on, because <laughs> he's lacking that. But uh, yeah, I had to change up his hair. I don't know why I drew his hair like that. I think I was probably having troubles drawing him, which explains why I didn't draw his face and why I drew his hair the way that it's not supposed to be drawn. But uh, yeah, I kind of struggled trying to fix him up a bit too. He's like the shortest of the group. Abriel is like the tallest of the three of them. She's pretty tall, but uh, yeah, I end up liking how his hair comes out better in that sketch. Yeah, came out a lot better in my opinion. I had trouble with his arms, trouble with his hands. I have trouble with all their hands. I just kind of fake it till I make it. And then I usually try and fix all of that in like rendering. I don't know, I think their hands came out better <laughs> than how I usually draw, draw hands. I don't know. I, I, I've i kind of gotten certain positions down, or, or when I say down, I mean look half decent, but some hand positions I have so much trouble drawing still, even though I kind of default to them a lot. It's kind of sad. <laughs> but yeah, for that other hand, I didn't really want to have to draw a proper hand, so I kind of blocked it in. And then I ended up just drawing a little line in between to divide the fingers. He ended up looking better than the other hand that I actually put more effort into. I'm adjusting right now. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting for me to get to the face. I think I had, uh, if I remember correctly, I had trouble with his eyes. If I remember correctly, yes. I already said that I had trouble drawing all of their eyes at some point. But I think I got it down. In, his, in the first picture that I drew of him, I drew him with this big ass smile on his face, which I have no idea why. And I even remember when I first originally drew it, I drew a big ass smile on his face. And I was like, this is not young at all. He doesn't smile like this at all. But I still went with it and I have no idea why I did. I decided to change his expression. First I started off with like a kind of slight smile. But then I change it later on so that he's not smiling at all, which kind of matches with his personality a lot more since he's supposed to be, I guess, more edgy emo boy. So yeah, that's his character. Yeah, I'm drawing his hand on his hip because I didn't want to have a properly draw hand showing, but I didn't want to just hide it. I side tried to make it interesting. That didn't go well, so that's great. I draw hands at hips a lot, but I'm not good at it, so <laughs> end up having to like either change it or I go with it in the end, and it just looks really weird. But yay, I'm actually drawing his face. And I tried to draw him smiling. I was like, no, let's let him be his little edgy emo self. I'm cringing right now. Sorry if this audio is kind of weird, uh, both in quality since I'm recording this on my phone and uh, my general speech since talking to myself feels kind of weird and I'm laughing a lot. I'm kind of giggling under my breath a lot because I feel awkward right now, but that's whatever. I tried to do like a text to speech thingy because I was like, I can't do this. But it ended up sounding really weird. I didn't like how it sounded. It sounded so like a text to speech. So, and any other ones that had like better samples were stuff you had to pay for. And I am kind of broke right now. I have no spending money at least, just stuff that I'm trying to save, which isn't a lot. <laughs> 
So yeah, now I'm finally blocking the colors. I changed quite a few of the colors here. Like one of his arms is kind of purple looking. It's supposed to be a blue, but it looks kind of purple. And I was like, that part of his skin's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look blue. And then the other part of his skin is pink. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to look kind of purple. Sometimes I make it look kind of pink, but I'm pretty sure it was originally supposed to be more purple. So I tried to fix that. I changed the arm to look more blue, and I ended up lightening it up a bit to look very dark in comparison to the other parts of his skin. And, um, yeah, just going with, like, simple shading, login, and stuff, nothing too much. Just trying to get, like, a general idea of the colors. And I just kind of have fun sometimes putting in little bits of shading and like messy blush and stuff like that. Like nothing too like exact. I just find it fun. I, I do have sometimes a bad habit of where I'm just trying to like block in colors to see how they look. But then I end up like working on it for too long. And it's not what the final piece is supposed to be. It's just figuring out the colors. So... <laughs> It's kind of not good because it's kind of a kind of a waste of time, but whatever. I have fun with it, so I guess it's fine. I don't know what else to say. I guess I have to wait till we move on to the next character. But uh, oh, we are moving on to the next character. Yay, Abby! She's the easiest to draw for me because she's a girl, and I find female anatomy way easier to draw. I like almost only draw girls. Which I don't know if that's noticeable, but it should be <laughs> if it's not noticeable to you. <laughs> it should be. But um, her color palette can be the hardest sometimes because I think I'm not 100% sure what I want it to be. I changed it definitely a lot from how I originally made her. Her skin was originally like a lot lighter and her hair was a lot darker. Like there's still white in it but there's a lot more darker parts but I ended up trying to go with making her, her skin darker and her hair lighter which I think looks kind of cool but the thing that I have the most troubles with is adding in the colored streaks uh, sometimes it's just awkward to place them sometimes it's awkward to make the colors look nice I don't know I have a hard time choosing the colors for it for this picture I decided to go with um, more bright colors like light, light kind of pastel -y. and I ended up taking out the blue in most parts. I ended up not really adding it in streaks, but I kind of added it where the shadows would be. It's not really supposed to be the shadows, just to add it in there without it feeling too much. I just felt it looked nicer in the end. But yeah, sometimes I feel like her colors come out really nice. Sometimes I feel like they come out kind of ugly. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. It's hard sometimes. And her face, oh my gosh, her face is something that I also have troubles with because the first time I ever drew her, she had like this kind of like wackyish face. But I drew her in like a very chibi style. All of them were drawn together in like this group picture, like a chibi style, and I ended up liking them. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make them actual characters and give them backstories and get unnecessarily attached to them. But when it comes to making her like in more realistic styles, I find it harder to translate her face because I don't want it to look like 100% goofy, but I still want it to have like that essence. I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> it's just hard. Um, and now I am drawing or coloring in Dion. I find his hair really fun to color in. Like the gradient. At first I had a lot of troubles with it. Cause I knew what I wanted it to be, but I was like really crap at it. But I've definitely gotten better with colors, I think. <laughs> I hope. But yeah, I just kind of start off with this base color. Eventually I'll add in like two lighter colors to add a kind of ombre effect. But I don't like just use like the airbrush. I try and like place it down and kind of texture. Especially considering he has kind of uh, he has dreadlock style hair, so kind of show it weaving through. Although I do add airbrush at the top with a really dark color, which is kind of fun. 
His hair is always super fun to render. It's funny because I love and hate doing his hair. I sometimes find it hard to get the shape down, but when I get that out of the way, I find it fun to add in like little bits of texture, like going back and forth. Sometimes I draw dreads a little differently because <laughs> I hadn't fully finalized a way of drawing it, but that's kind of how I am with a lot of the stuff that I draw. <laughs> Especially characters, I haven't. They don't really have a finalized way of doing it. I definitely think that I'm still trying to develop my style, but I'm not too concerned on like having a very specific style because there's some elements in different people's work, I guess, that like I really like, and I like reflecting that in my art. Sometimes, sometimes I like to draw more cartoony. Sometimes. I try and go for semi-realism, although I'm not great at it, so I also like drawing in like anime-like styles as well, although I don't do it as often. Sometimes I try to and I feel it doesn't really work how I want it to, it doesn't have that anime style that I crave. That's the end of this video. I'm gonna try and upload three more parts to this, uh, rendering out each character separately. Like I said, I'm gonna do Dion first because I had the most trouble <laughs> with, fl with fleshing out his little design for this picture, so I'm just gonna get it out of the way and fix it next time. So, bye. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I wasn't too awkward could uh, like and subscribe if you want to I guess and check out my other social medias if you're interested okay peace